These days caravan sites are mostly flat and level, but from time to time you can find yourself on an uneven pitch and that can cause numerous problems. Today I'm joined by Neil Greentree from Greentree's Adventure Store to take a closer look at this issue. So Neil, why is having a level pitch so important for a caravan? Well, with caravanning, it's all about getting out into the great outdoors. So, therefore, you don't know where you're going to go. So, uh, you never know how level the pitch is going to be. And with caravans uh, of all ages, they do require a pitch or the caravan to be uh, relatively level, within about 10 degrees. Uh, so, and obviously for comfort, you want to be level. Uh, so, there's a few tips you can kind of basically take on board to get that caravan uh, super level so you're going to be comfortable. And uh, what are the specific problems that, that can be caused by an uneven caravan? Certain appliances, fridges, so, so, uh, they rely on the caravan being uh, within a certain degree level so that they function properly. So there's, there's more factors than just comfort uh, about getting that caravan nice and level. And what are the different products on the market that can help remedy this problem? Talk me through them. There's quite a selection of products uh, out there, although uh, customers also do choose to make their own uh, devices to keep that uh, caravan level. Uh, if we kick off with the, uh, the level ramps, which are ramps effectively that you drive the one wheel of the caravan up and it therefore levels the, the caravan. Other alternatives, you can have uh, like uh, jack devices which you actually put underneath the wheel and you then screw up and it then jacks that side up. And that's preferred for those who just want that better level of control and are not that confident in towing their caravan onto what is quite a small level. With, with all these levelling devices, of which I've got two, two here, essentially the main thing, with the more modern types, you can actually see that it's not just a ramp, it's actually carved out, so there are predetermined levels at which the caravan will then come to rest. With all ramps, you must pull forward onto the ramp. Basically, if you were to reverse uh, onto a level ramp, when you reverse a caravan, the brakes essentially, they overrun. The brake shoes drop inside to allow the caravan to reverse. Uh, so when you reverse the caravan up onto a ramp, you effectively have no braking. So if you pull forward, your braking system is active, fully operational, and so therefore when you pull your handbrake on, you have full grip. We can now see that the caravan is now supported by the uh, uh, ramp and uh, the, the consideration really is, is here we're fortunate, we're on a shingle surface, nice and solid, but if you're on soft grass, ideally you really want as wide a ramp as you can get to spread that load uh, to, to avoid the potential of the ramp just sinking straight into the grass underneath your caravan, which doesn't achieve the objective. Now with this particular device, what we've basically got is a, is a cradle that you slip in next to the wheel and then from there we have with this spanner, we basically effectively wind it up and we're basically going to jack the caravan up as high as we want. Now the beauty of this one is, is, is you can get it kind of some eight, nine inches off the ground. Uh, nice and light, made of aluminium so it's not too heavy to, to, to carry about. So essentially you're putting this onto there and you're screwing that down. For customers who don't have the confidence to be able to do that precision towing to get the wheel onto a level ramp, this device, you can pull the handbrake on, the caravan's going nowhere, and you're nice and secure and it's gonna jack it up. What we need to do is we need to increase the leverage, Chris, and, and by doing that, we have this additional, well, we slip over the top there, and it just makes pulling around a lot easier. Uh, now, the only downside with this piece of kit is it does take a little time, so do make sure you have a few minutes to be able to, to lift that up. But as you can see, very easy to do, very simple, and there's no chance of your caravan rolling away anywhere. How can you test to make sure it is exactly flat and level? Well, there's, there's a number of ways, you know, there, there are people who have uh, put a glass of water on a surface and, uh, or something else <laughs> in some cases. And some people will tell you you can level your caravan using the corner steadies. Now, is this correct? Well, Chris, as a rule of thumb, take it that you can't. My advice, if you want to make a blanket rule, say you can't. Uh, and, uh, and unless you know for a fact and your dealer has told you that you can, take it as a, a rule that you can't. But the twin spirit level, which is a small triangle with spirit levels built into them, you put them on a surface and then you can basically level the caravan off that. Brilliant. Neil Greenchie, thanks for your time today. No problem.